Hey, I'm Michael from UEN. In this next short screencast, you're going to find out how you can use Nearpod as a tool to deliver instruction to your students remotely. Now, Nearpod's an awesome tool to use in the classroom when you're doing a live lesson. But now that Utah teachers all have access to a district level account, you're going to see a new button that says Student Paste. And I'll show you in this screencast how to use that to send a lesson out to your students for them to complete asynchronously on their own time. Let's check it out. So here I am on my Nearpod library landing page. I went to nearpod.com and signed in, and that took me to nearpod.com slash library. You can see from the green um, badge right here that I'm a school admin, you might have the same, or you might have a red badge that says district user. If you have a gold or platinum, this should also work, but if you have silver, we'll need to upgrade your account. Please contact your school district Nearpod administrator, tech um, director or ed tech and make sure that you're in the correct account. Everybody in Utah now has access to Nearpod at this level. So once I'm in here, I find the lesson that I want to run with my students. I'll go with this one about Martin Luther King. Normally in the classroom, I would click live lesson and that would bring up the code for me to run the lesson with my students there in place. But I'm going to do a student pace lesson instead since they're going to be doing it remotely. So I'll end this one and instead when I hover over the lesson box, I'm going to click student paste. The student paste will allow me to then launch a new student paste lesson if I've done one before, and I can adjust the date at which it expires. By default, it's at 29 days, but if you go and click the calendar, you can adjust it to be even further into the year. You can also make it shorter if you wanted to. Perhaps this is a homework assignment that's going to be due by Friday. Once you've done that, there's your code. Now, normally we would project that onto the screen for students to see, but we don't have that luxury since they're not in front of us. So I could either email it to them. I click email and I can drop in all the emails that I need to to share this lesson with. Or I can send it through one of my accounts like Google, Yahoo, Microsoft Outlook, or um, Apple Mail. You also have a link for social, so you could share this on Twitter or Facebook. If this was a lesson you wanted parents to see, that's a nice avenue for distributing it to them. You also have the ability to get a link. You can copy this, put it into your school website. If you have a website or something where you know how to use embed code, you can embed the lesson in either small, medium, or large and drop it right in. If you're using Google Classroom, click the Google Classroom button and a small window comes up with your Google account if you're logged into the Chrome browser and you can choose what class you want to assign it to. You also have the ability to send it by Remind or to Microsoft Teams. Once you've shared a lesson out um, remotely, you'll then be able to come into your reports and as students complete the lesson, you could go to a lesson, click on it and begin to see their reports. Now there is one thing I want to point out about any type of lessons you do student paced if you use the collaborate board. So if you've ever used the collaborate board, you know, you have this little button here that asks if you want to approve student comments before they're posted and you can say no or yes, you won't be able to do that in student paste. So there's a setting switch you need to throw in your account. I'm going to leave this lesson lesson and show you where that is. Back at the library, go up to the upper right hand corner and click on the icon of your picture for your account. In here, next to your name, is a little bicycle cog icon for settings. Click on the settings icon and you'll notice you have profile, advanced, and notifications. You'll want to click advanced and the last item down with a little switch to toggle says enable collaborate for student paced lessons. Make sure this is turned on and that way students can participate in the collaborate board. Now remember, it's going to be student paced, so you'll want to check on this occasionally to make sure that everything in there is appropriate. But that's it. In a nutshell, you find the lesson you want to launch, click student paste, get your code, and share it by either email, social media, link, embeddable code, Google Classroom, Remind, or Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy using Nearpod student paste lessons with your learning community.